Finally tonight, how much fun is it to be James Cameron? Anything he can imagine, he can bring to life on the screen. Anything he can dream, he can do. And what he just did is explore the deepest point at the bottom of the sea in a one-man submarine he helped design. Here's John Blackstone. James Cameron dove to the bottom of the sea in what he called a vertical torpedo that took seven years to design. The two and a half hour descent allowed Cameron three hours to explore Challenger Deep. It was very, very soft, almost gelatinous flat plane, almost featureless plane. Challenger Deep is a slot where the Pacific tectonic plate slides below the Mariana plate. If Mount Everest were dropped into the slot, the summit of the world's highest mountain would still be more than a mile below water. The whole sub actually squeezes down uh, almost three inches in length. The sphere that I'm in actually actually shrinks. The, the window that I look out actually pushes in toward me under 16,000 pounds per square inch of pressure. The only life Cameron saw were shrimp-like creatures less than an inch long. It was a very lunar, uh, very desolate place, very, uh, very isolated. Uh, my, my feeling was one of complete isolation from all of humanity. The last time humans reached Challenger Deep was 1960. Recently, there's been a race among wealthy adventurers to return. Jay Tustin is building a sub that Virgin Airlines entrepreneur Richard Branson had hoped would be first to get back to the bottom. As a guy building these machines, you, you've worked with the people who want, to, who want to take them to the bottom of the ocean. Right. What drives them? A curiosity, I guess, just a, a huge curiosity. <laughs> Returning from his dive, James Cameron made it clear his curiosity wasn't satisfied. This is just the beginning, he said, of the exploration of the most remote place on Earth. John Blackstone, CBS News, San Francisco.